On this episode of Coastal Cooking Presents Quick Bites, Primal Nosh is going to show us how to make buffalo chicken with spaghetti squash. Stick around and find out how it's done. Welcome to Coastal Cooking Quick Bites, brought to you by Pensacola Energy. Hi, I'm John Scanlon, and this is Coastal Cooking Presents Quick Bites. And I'm joined here with some very special guests from Primal Nosh. We have Chef Diane Hadka and L.A. Updike. Guys, what do you have for us on this episode? Today we are making a really quick and easy dish. It is buffalo chicken spaghetti squash. Um, what I've done first is I've taken um, thawed out chicken and I've cut it lengthwise and shingled it. I've sauteed it with a little bit of salt, pepper, and garlic powder. You know, something simple. So the chicken is going to be layered over spaghetti squash. We baked our spaghetti squash at 375 for about 30 minutes. Um, I do tend to babysit my spaghetti squash so it doesn't overcook. If you've had spaghetti squash before and you haven't really liked it, like John here has, where it's just too done and it doesn't get that nice stringiness, um, that's where babysitting it comes in. So you'll know it's done when you can, it's still firm, but you can press on the squash a little bit and it gives. So our chicken's done. I'm going to take a fork and we got the squash before we put it in the oven and I'm just gonna scrape it up around the edges. Now we haven't done anything special to spaghetti squash other than cut it in half, take the seeds out, put it in the oven. There's no oil, salt, pepper, or anything. It's just natural spaghetti squash. Like the, like the other dishes you've done today, that looks incredibly easy uh, when you're showing it. It is, a, this is a very easy dish. And if you're following a low carb diet or if you just wanna get more vegetables in your life, um, this is a great substitute for pasta. So, I've got our spaghetti squash. We're going to top it with chicken. I'll give that to you while she's putting the chicken on there. I'm gonna blend our sauce, it's a really, really basic sauce. If you did not see how to make your own mayonnaise, you can go back and check out the uh, Bodacious Fish Tacos video. I have half a cup of mayonnaise and about a fourth to a half a cup of, I prefer Frank's, but your favorite hot sauce. Dump it in there. Trusty immersion blender. Give it a quick whirl. This can give you a nice creamy buffalo sauce. If you want to, Instead of mayonnaise, you can use cream cheese or goat's cheese. Throw it in a pan over a low heat, melt the cheese, add your buffalo sauce, and stir it. We really like it that way also. And we'll do it both ways. All right, chicken on the pan. We're going to just drizzle it with the sauce. And then we'll finish it with some fresh chopped chives. You can use green onion, parsley, whatever your, your palate prefers. Just some green for color. This is great if you're following a keto diet. It's low carb and if you use cheese, and the mayonnaise has a, a decent amount of fat and it. it's mostly olive oil, but um, you can use cheese instead, get those extra fats. And that's it. Looks great. Yeah, easy, fast. Um, I think the chicken took about five minutes to cook after we sliced it and the spaghetti squash is the longest you put, you can put it in the oven and you start babysitting it. About the time it's ready to come out, I check on it at around 25 minutes. And if it's starting to get sauce, soft, saute your chicken and by the time the chicken's on your spaghetti squash should be ready. You will want it to cool a little bit before you pull it, but if you're in a rush and you don't feel like waiting for it, I'll take a, I always, I never, I'm always like hot, um, <laughs> just put a towel under it and you can pull it that way. So. Excellent. Okay. Now, is this on the menu at uh, Primanosh? Yes, this has been on the menu, and it's pretty popular. I I've had your spaghetti squash before, and it, and it was incredible. There's a good texture there, um, and I noticed that from the first time I ate there, and it was incredible. Um, make sure you go see Pri uh, Chef Diane and Chef L.A. at Primal Nosh. They're located at 3810 Barancas Avenue. Um, they're also, you can go to their website to order, primalnosh.com, and they do delivery, so that's awesome. It's easy, and it's great food. Oh, yeah. Thank you guys so much for being on the show. I can't wait to see you next time. Thanks for having us. Absolutely. This has been Coastal Cooking Quick Bites, brought to you by Pensacola Energy.